What was dance like for everyone? I used to do voice acting as a child. I did dancing when I was younger, and it wasn't as serious, but like, when I did gymnastics, it was one of those things that was, can't really explain, like, dancing is just, it's an art form, but also something that keeps me healthy. start dancing was um, it was actually my brother uh, when I was a kid I'd always see him like break dancing with his friends and stuff so then that made me want to break dance obviously because then he was like my role model so I'm like okay I want to dance and yeah that's pretty much uh, started around when I was like seven years old and then I just did that at parties at like my friends houses and stuff like that and then it wasn't until like maybe like seven years ago where I kind of got into the choreography scene and then kind of took it more seriously and everything and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, how I got influenced into dance. Okay, I'm gonna look at you. Okay. I dance because it's my passion and I grew up with it. So it's like a habit. Like I can't go without dancing. At our studio, it's not just about being a good dancer. We learn how to be good people too. So, yes. Whenever I go through like a hard time, dance is the place that I want to be the most because it's just the way that I can deal with my emotions in a healthy environment with people that are there to support me. And sometimes it's just a good distraction from your problems. Hi, 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 I'm Laura, hi, hi. Dance is, I don't know, it takes a lot of dedication to be a dancer. You have to dedicate yourself to time and practice. And I feel like if I didn't do dance, I wouldn't do as well in school. I usually think, don't mess up when I'm performing. Um, also about all of the corrections that I've previously gotten and it just kind of like keeps rolling in your head but I mean it's always fun. <laughs> okay. What does dance mean to me? I mean it's like a just an expression I guess like a a good way to just like let loose and have fun and just like also being into hip hop like the music and then like being into fashion too it's like just it all combines and have like the fashion the music and then the dance like five out of the or three out of the five elements so yeah people know me through dance and so they, they hit me up for the for the company stuff so like I'll, I'll go to competitions and be like yo can I like buy a hat can I buy a shirt whatever or like vice versa where it's like people know the company and then I did uh, that I don't know if you saw that music video the hand music video yeah. I got that job through Peter Takis, who knows about Atomic, so he, he knew about Atomic and then he hit me up through there, so. It's kind of just like staying calm, like trying not to think too much about it. But if it's like a big competition, like when you perform in Edmonton, it was like 12, 1300 people, like it was a lot of people to perform in front of, so I had to kind of just like prep myself, just stay focused, stay calm, um, do some push-ups before you go on stage, get your blood flowing, whatever. And then just like, yeah man, just stay focused. Don't overthink stuff, because when you overthink on stage especially, like. Uh, you can get caught up and you forget and you forget choreo and it's happened. Like I've walked off stage before because I overthought stuff. So I just say like just stay calm, stay focused, and do push-ups before, <laughs> before you go on. <laughs> what dance means to me, 
I don't know, it's just, it's more so for me to um, create and like express myself as in um, without any boundaries and everything because then it gives me a safe place to like make whatever I want, do whatever I want, however I want. Yeah, so like I feel really safe in being myself and creating what other people wouldn't create because then I have my own unique style and like my own personality that I could express however I want. So that's what I like about dance and stuff. Mm, what, to, what kept me going in uh, this dance thingamajigger <laughs> is, um, is the next generation is uh, they, they just keep coming like they're, they're younger, they're a lot more talented, they have like so much more res resources that uh, other generations don't have and like they're taking advantage of it and they're amazing. They're taking what we did and making it like 10 times better and that's what's making me um, motivated to keep going is to fuel like the next generation to teach them what I learned from my mentors and everything just hand down all of the knowledge that was given to me so it continues on and we keep this whole community of dance like growing and like thriving and just like improving non-stop. Uh, dance has helped me not just in dance, um, uh, in the studio when I practice and everything, it teaches me like discipline, um, to be creative, uh, work well with like others and like teamwork environment and stuff. Um, and a lot of patience and everything, especially working with like younger uh, people, teaches a lot of patience. So I feel like dance made me a better person. So, dance has definitely helped me, and I learned that from making this documentary, and I hope all you viewers watching it felt the same thing. Even if you haven't, just think about it. Like, dance isn't just about being the best or looking good on stage. It's about being yourself. It's about embracing your inner self about letting out all those emotions that you have inside of you that you cry about at night. Dance can do that. Even if you cry while you freaking dance, who cares? It means you're really embracing the culture, you're embracing yourself, you're being yourself. And that's what the most important thing is in life too, being yourself.